one free plugin is all you're going to need to boost your website and get a better page speed on Google. Now, this is what I'm using right now. It's called 10 Web Booster. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to install it right away to show you what I'm going to get. So currently, this is the website. It's a pretty large site. And this is the current page speed that I'm getting. So it's pretty bad, 49. And I haven't installed any plugins on this. So there's no cache plugins, there's no CDN, there's nothing used right here. And what you have to do is just head on over to add new and we're gonna search for 10 web booster. Here we go. We're going to install it, activate it. And now that it's active, we're gonna sign up and connect. In this case, I'm already signed up, so it's gonna add the site right away. There we go, the website optimization has begun its progress. Let's give it a few minutes and let me show you how this is going to change this page speed. There we go, the optimization has finished. Let's go into manage this system. And right now, this is the score that we're getting. So a 98 score on desktop and 53 on mobile. So let me show you my page speed score right here. So this is from before. So mobile and desktop, all right? So let's go ahead and run it again. So there we go, we have a 78 score on mobile and 96 score on desktop. Can we improve this further? Yes, we can. Let's head on over to the booster settings. So this is the site that we have it installed right now. And this is the general information. So we can go into image. We also have the settings for this. So we have the option for standard, balance, strong, and extreme. Now you might want to play with these just in case your site doesn't load correctly. If the images are kind of moved or something like that, I recommend start off with extreme. And if that doesn't work, jump into strong, balance, and standard. Once you change that, you can apply it. You can also clear cache if in case that you make some changes. So if I change this to balance, I want to clear the cache. So it reloads the new Im, the new website, okay? There's also the custom rules if you need to disable some of the cache system in some of the JS or the CSS, okay? So again, let's go into general. Let's go ahead and reanalyze. There we go. You can see it's improving little by little. It's doing it even better. Why? Because it's still working in the backend. It's still boosting the images. It's optimizing them. It's still working the cache because the site is still working with the files and it's still optimizing. So we're gonna reach a better page speed score as we go along. Now, just to finish off, I wanna show you GT metrics. Again, this is what I had before. Let me show you the summary. And it was loading 3.5 seconds. So that's, that's a lot, all right? So again, let's run a test on GT metrics. There we go. We just got the new results and you can see from three and above seconds to less than one second, 818 milliseconds. So you know that 10 web is doing its magic. So there it goes. It's a free plugin that you can install right now to improve your WordPress site. Now, as this keeps on getting better because it just came out, it's gonna improve even more because they're gonna be tweaking this plugin even more and it's gonna boost your site better. But there you go. That is 10 web booster plugin. Go check it out. That link will be provided in the description.